Well, good afternoon. Um, it's your boy Lawman here. Um, it's the 21st of July, it's a Friday. I'm actually at home at the moment. In fact, I've been home for the last three days. I've um, been uh, pretty much bedridden and sick uh, with a chest infection. And um, yeah, it's only really in the last, probably this morning, I'm starting to regain some resemblance of my voice. You can really tell it's really low and deep. <clears throat> yeah. So um, I've been um, sick with a uh, with a chest infection, um, coughing up phlegm and all that kind of stuff. So I don't want to bore you with that. But yeah, um, the thing is, the reason why I'm really worried about me being sick is I don't want to be sick, um, especially for this weekend. Um, being um, it's my church uh, Thanksgiving service, and I'm in the choir, and I've got to make sure that my voice is at a, at a level where I can sing. And, and it would absolutely shatter me if, if, if I wasn't fit. So hopefully um, I'll be right for Sunday. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll pretty much came down with it and say late Tuesday night. So yeah, it is what it is. Um, so on today's agenda, um, I've just finished editing a video and it's now uploading. I'm now going to go to the doctors and I need to get another doctor certificate for today because I only had it for two days and I decided to take this day off just so that I'm a hundred percent um because like I woke up this morning I was like oh, I was so iffy that I could go to work I'm not um I'm getting some food then I gotta do some extra things for the event next week and I, if I fell sick this time next week, then it'll have been like, yeah, it'll be really bad. So, yeah. Um, um, the other thing I need to do today as well is, uh, yeah, for the event next week, I've got to do all of the um, photos, all, all the stuff right here. So, basically, um, you, you you know, the pairs, kicks, as well as, um, as prize packs that I have to take photos of. I'm not quite sure if I want to take photos of it um, outdoors, um, being that I am still a bit sick, or if I should just um, set myself up in this space around here. This, uh, this is like this space here. I'll probably close these blinds, which are just behind here, and I'll just have it blanked out and just have it space like that. I still have the natural light, but this, you know, this is using this wooden floor, probably doing a top view and something like that. So, yeah. Let's go to the doctors. Um, let's get that um, box certificate. Hopefully, they'll give me one. And um, let's get this afternoon started. As I said, I've got a cert medical certificate here, which is for Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm oh, sorry, Wednesday and Thursday. And today's Friday, so I've got to make sure I have the extra day's doctor certificate, or else my managers are going to be on my tail. So I'm going to get that certificate, y'all. 20 minutes later. Just saw my doc. He just said, Yeah, I'm getting better. Just got to keep taking the drugs. Codrils. Um, I got my certificate for today, as well as my certificate for, for the last two days, so I'm, I'm good to go with that. I'm not going to be not too concerned about um, um, that's not going to be concerned. Now let's go get some food because now uh, I need to get some food in me, and um, let's go from there. Now I'm here at Rice Hotel Center, I'm gonna get this food. 
It is what it is. I mean, bother cooking at home. I in fact, I cook breakfast at home. What am I talking about? It is what it is. So I've just finished eating my lunch, afternoon tea, and I just had a thought. Instead of um, having or doing my photo shoot down at uh, the park, carrying all the stuff, right into the car, driving it down, taking it all out, all that kind of thing. Why don't I just do it at home? Now, I was, originally I said I, I could do it upstairs, but I just had a better idea. <laughs> See right here? What's this table? I've got this nice, uh, I've got this plastic table here, and I'm just gonna take photos. That would be, that, that would be the shot right there. Or, that would be the shot right there. So I'm thinking, yeah, this could be, this could be the backdrop. This could be the backdrop for the uh, for the photo shoot. So, I think we've got a winner. Let's bring all the stuff down. Let's get set up and let's get shooting. Basically, what I've got my setup is this. I got my iPhone catching the camera, doing the camera photo shot. So, you, why are you using an iPhone? Because I just don't have a good enough camera. Even though I've got a GoPro, this can take some really dope photos. And I, I could show you. I'll show you in a little bit. Here, I've got the table set up. What I've done is I've covered it with just plain paper. So this gives it a bit more of a white um, thing instead of a dirty background. I've got a pair here, which is the um, gel mice. And then, yeah, this is the background. So I'm gonna set this up, set this camera up in um, thing mode, into time lapse mode, and let's catch a time lapse. Now that the um, shoes are done, now I'm going to do all the prize packs. Now the prize packs are going to be a bit different in the sense that um, I have to spray them out and then try to take a photo. Now it is windy, so I'm hoping that um, it will be a lot easier to, hopefully if the wind dies down, I can be able to do the spread. Or maybe have to change my angles around so that um, I'm going with the wind, so I'm blocking the wind or something like that. Otherwise, yeah, we'll just keep them going. There's one more thing that I actually needed to take a photo of, and it's this. This is the uh, leaning um, socks, which basically we're giving out free for, for you know, the first few people that would walk in while stocks last. So I'm gonna take a single photo of this, so it's a really nice photo. So then um, we can post that up as the, as the, um, what's it called? As the, as a picture because the other ones that uh, was taken was a bit rubbish. Now we've got this. I can do a photo now. Alright, so um, it's just 9.34 right now. Just watching the Tour de France. I, I tend to watch it on, and it's on, it's on during July, so it's always on, and I just watch it. It's kind of soothing, but also interesting nonetheless. You know. um, but there was two more things that I want to try and get through on this video today. Um, first things first is this. Now, I have here the kickstand snapback cup. As you can see, you know, um, these are still available um, on, the webs on the kickstand website. Um, by the way, you can actually check out the kickstand website on the bottom. I'll put the links in the, in the description there and you can still pick up this cap. I believe the 35 off the top of my head, and about 35 bucks a cap. And um, this is the version two of the of the cap. Um, but what I wanted to do with this particular custom is I actually wanted to um, customize it in a way. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to black it all out. So black out the um, 
black out the white sections, all the white sections, which expose. I'm not bothered to do the white, uh, black it out inside, it's kind of pointless. So I'm going to black out the, um, the, the, the shoelace, horseshoe, and also the white bits of the kickstand. Um, so I actually bought myself one of these a couple of weeks ago, if I can find it. Don't misplace it. So I bought myself one of these. It's a um, Sharpie um, laundry pen. Rubber dub, rubber dub laundry marker. And I figured I might as well go with a with a with a laundry marker because instead of going with a permanent marker, um, you might think they're, they're the same same. But when you think about it, like um, when you actually um, washing, oh, when you when you're wearing it, you're gonna perspire, you're going to to sweat. Um, you don't want it to sort of fade or whatever. Um, even if you were to put it, you know, bung the hat in the wash, for example. You don't want it to fade, so so probably using a, sh a a a laundry marker similar to this. There is an outline one as well, which I used to have one here. I think. Let me find it. So I've got all these other markers here and there. Anyway, um, I digress. But basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to color the black and see what the results are. So here are the tools that you need for this project. One, you need the the kickstand snapback hat. Two, a sharpie. For this uh, particular sharpie, uh, as I said, I'll be using a, um, a laundry um, lessive marker. Uh, Saves permanent free washing. You can also use a similar one. I found this night line one as well. So um, I'm going to start off with the white the actual horseshoe and see what the result is. Let's get into it. So what I'm doing right now, as you can probably see, is I'm GS going over the top with it. Using like fake brush strokes, trying to get every single um, thread piece of thread that you can that is wide. And I'm not too worried if it, if I go onto the black, I'm gonna actually gonna go an outline black around the actual um, stitching as well. So it's not the be on end or you can be a bit messy on this because it's black on black. Well Okay, so you can see right now um, it's a, you can start to tell with the light, uh, it's more like a, like a dark charcoal, um, than anything else. It, you can still sort of stand out why it's, it's more like a darkish grey than a black. So I might have to do a second coat, but I'm going to let that dry, and I'm going to go over, now switch over to the actual kickstand back right here. Again. Um, <clears throat> literally just going to trace over the black, uh, over the white, um, and uh, let's go ahead and do it. There you go. It's again a bit easier than the the natural front of it. Um, again, just coloured all the white white bits black. It's actually turned out quite quite nice. It's actually, as I said, it gives it that grey look, and I do like that two tone. But I'm gonna go with that again with a second with a second coating. Let's go back to the front. As you can see right now, it's starting to look 
a lot more now that's dried um, let's do one more coat and make sure that it really, all the black does seep into the to the um, threading because it is double layered so the way, the way I'm doing it is I'm just going to go apply pressure across the strands to make sure that the black is in there and just checking from, from time to time that your hands don't get black as well I only got a couple marks in there but I think it should be fine So, um, while I wait for this cap to dry, um, I'm going to give it a third coat. Um, so far it's looking really good, it's actually looking, it's more shiny than our third sport, maybe it's just because of the type of thread that they use on on um, this particular cap, but while I wait for this to dry, um, I'm going to show you my latest sneaker pickup. Now, for me personally, this one is more like a birthday present to myself, being that the birth my birthday is on the week that you see this video. Um, my birthday is on the 27th, so it's the week of my birthday. And um, yeah, this is something that I was eyeing off for a while, and, and I knew they were dropping, and it was a bit of a struggle to get them, but I've got them in hand, so. Yeah, you know, without further ado, I'll show you the shoe. So basically, the label is it's a Nike SB Zoom, Nike SB Dunk High Premium. Right, and I'm gonna have to take out both shoes because both shoes have got what the all over it. So this is the the Thomas Campbell joints, basically. Um, Thomas Campbell is a is an artist. I'm not quite sure what he actually details what he actually does as an artist but I'm gonna tell you right now I a lot of people uh, let's say this a lot of people that I know of who are in the Australian sneaker community looked at this particular shoe and just said it's not comparable to the SB Dunk Low which I'll put a photo somewhere um, for for what for the concept and that's true and a lot of the what the series um, Nikes, things like the, what the LeBrons, what the Kobe's, what the KDs. Um, there's some other what the what the series and the even the recent Air, um, Air Max um, Masters, I think that's what they're called uh, that they released this year for Air Max Day. You know, no, they don't compare to the Alpha, which is the Nike SB Dunk Low uh, what the and that's true. I mean. I think this, personally to me, I think this shoe stands on its own. Now, I'm gonna, I've, got the, I've got the right side shoe here, and let's go into the detail, right? Now, a cool thing about this, as I said, each panel is totally different, alright? And, and the cool thing about it is, like, there's different layers of material on the shoe. I can tell you right now, um, this has got a buff down suede or velour this has got a tumble leather which feels really nice and then there's a there's like a um like a like a couture couture type material on the swoosh and on the eye stays as well um which really are really really nice and then you've got nice cowhide leathers up through here um, yeah, and I'll give you, I'll give you the other side of the shoe as well, uh, and still has those, those sort of, um, laces as well, um, take you through, through the tongue, um, yeah, that's a very, very well should put together the shoe. Now you get a second pair of laces, which has got the aglet, the, the, the cream aglet, and then on this, on the laces here, you actually get the orange aglet, um, Midsole is white, of course, and gum bottoms. You cannot go wrong with a gum bottom shoe. 
it is a ten and a half. And the story goes like this: I actually was able to order a ten and a half first, and an eleven. And it was it took me a few hours to get it, but they cancelled my order in a size eleven, which is kind of disappointing because I really wanted a size eleven. Anyway, I got the ten and a half, and that's um, what I've gone with. And as I said, there are some people saying it's not as dope as for what the SB Dunk. But they haven't produced any SB Dunks to me in my liking. Like new, new newer styles, not the like the remakes of the low or high that has gotten me going, yeah, I really want to buy it straight up. But at least um, this version of the shoe, this shoe actually is actually really good. Um, I could tell you right now the insoles I should get the insoles out. The insole there is pink, and the insole there is pink as well. So it's both. Both insoles are the same. But yeah, I think for for a what the shoe for this current series, I think it's really nice. I think it Nike really did a really good job with this, and 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 Thomas Campbell. So so I respect the shoe. I've got it in my hands. I've got it in my possession. Will I break these out? Probably. You know, I want to start in them just to prove people wrong. I want to start in them to prove people wrong. So, yeah, I might take these to Brisbane. Who knows? I might break these out for the Sydney event. Who knows? Anyway, well, it's time to get back on to doing the hat. Let's get into it. And now I'm going to continue on coloring and seeing. So let's go. The same thing again, strokes up the top. As I said, I took some photo the photos earlier today. These are all the photos that actually came out. Those are the Reebok ones. I don't know how good it's coming up on screen, so let me just take that again. That's some Reeboks. And basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be choosing the best ones and then putting a watermark on it and then sending it off to Jay and Jay will record it I'll, I'll post it up on on Instagram and on social media so that everyone knows what's going to be um, available for prize packs and all that. <coughs> so there you have it folks. I try and struggle through today. I tried to be as productive as possible. Um, I should not be talking but um, I do it for you guys because I do it for the blog. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed um, today's vlog. Um, as I said, I'm still feeling really sick at the moment. I'm hoping by, by Sunday I have enough of a voice that I can sing in the choir for Thanksgiving. And for all my own sea folk, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, also, yeah, um, the custom um, cap, as well as the what the SB dunks as well. Um, yeah, so there you have it, folks. Um, hope, hopefully you enjoyed the vlog. Um, so, yeah. And then the next time you'll see me um, will be the start of the Brisbane um, trip. So, yeah. I'll leave all the details at the end of the video and the and the, um, the links down below for it. Anyway, it's your boy, Law, man. I'm tired as crazy. But just remember to cop, stock, and rocket kicks. And I will see you on another vlog. I'm out. Peace.